Good morning, students. I'm Romita Sardun, PZT Chemistry. Today, in this session, I will discuss a new topic. So before I come to the topic, I would like to thank you all for doing your homework well. And I think you all of you understand how to balance a chemical equation and how to represent a chemical equation. Okay, let us start today's uh, new topic that is types of reaction. Why we want to classify types of reaction? Because on the basis of different products they form and the nature of the reactants we take and the reaction occurred, we can classify reactions into different types. Now, let me mention to you the different types of reactions first. Look here, the first type is called combination reaction. Second type, decomposition reaction. And in this decomposition reaction, you can again further classify it as thermal decomposition, electrolytic decomposition, photolytic decomposition, or photolysis. And again, for third type, that is displacement reaction, and double displacement reaction, oxidation reaction, reduction reaction, exothermic reaction, endothermic reaction, and redox reaction. So in this topic, types of reaction, we will discuss all these different types of reaction one by one. And in different sessions, I will discuss one reaction types with examples, enough examples to make you understand better. So for today, I will discuss the combination reaction first. Very simple, as the name also mentioned, name also indicate combination. That means you will combine some substances. So we will not call substances, we will use the terms reactants. So first of all, let me read out the definition. It is the type of reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form a new single product. You have to careful here, a new single product. Out of many types of reactions or equations given to you in exams, you will able to identify which type of reaction is this by using this clue, that is single product. Many reactants may combine. Many means it can be more than two, four, five, six, or many. Many reactants will combine to give only a single product. Single product means your product will be only one. So I'm discussing here some examples, easy examples that I have already mentioned. That is magnesium ribbon bonds in the air to give magnesium oxide. Now, when I write a chemical equation, I already balance. That means balancing a chemical equation is your task. That means whenever you write a chemical equation, you need to balance. And if you know it, try to mention the physical state of the reactants and products. So here I have used a delta symbol. This is in chemistry. We have used this term as delta and it means heat is supplied. That means you burn first the magnesium ribbon. That's why first heat is supplied and then after heat is again given out. Then calcium oxide reacts with water and gives calcium hydroxide. And calcium hydroxide will remain in solution form. And then I am giving you another one more example so that you can easily distinguish a combination type of reaction and other different type of reaction, other reaction. So here also methane, CH4 is called methane. This is called methane. This may be new to you, methane, CH4, methane. So methane burns in air. That means they combine with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. So here, this is not, this is not a type of combination reaction. 
Why? Because here you got two products. What are the products? Carbon dioxide and water. So these two products is formed. That's why this type of reaction is not considered as a combination type. But why the above two examples are combination type? Because they have only one single product. So this is how you can classify it or you can distinguish out of many reactions what is a combination type. For combination type, you will always try to find out the single product type of reactions. Okay, students, I think you understand this today's topic that is combination type of reactions and read out the reactions and write it also and discuss the examples also. And in another next session, I will discuss the other different type of other type of reaction that is the decomposition type of reaction. Okay, thank you.